Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video. So today I want to present to you a game called Adventure Capitalist, a game that I started playing two days ago, uh, two days ago, and a game when I first saw, I thought like, what's in this game? Like, why does this game even need to exist? Because I, when I first saw, I was like, okay, it doesn't have any fancy graphics, it doesn't have a story, it doesn't have anything. It's just a, couple, a bunch of buttons that you need to press. Why is this game getting so much attention? Why is this game is getting so much positive reviews? Like, if you check out Steam page for this game, you'll see the uh, the reviews. The feedback is mostly positive. And I was like, what's in this game? So I decided to check it out. And for the past two days, guys, I've been hooked. Like, I'm addicted as anything. Like, I'm going to college. Before going to college, I'm playing this game. After coming from college, I'm playing this game. And I'm playing this game even more. Just, I, I just can't stop playing this game. So I wanted to share with you this game. Like, you guys also need to get started. I mean, start to play this game. Like, this game is awesome. So let me just walk you through the entire thing. What this, what works how it works let me just show you the basics so you start off as an investor who invests in a lemonade business after that you make certain profit from it then you start investing in a newspaper business from that you make some profit then you invest in a car washing business and you go on and on and on now how do you do that you just click these buttons like you need to click on this um, yellow lemon like thing then it'll just you know, produce 300 lemons or so. Uh, I mean, not 300 lemons. It just it'll just produce some lemonades and stuff, and the business is going to grow. Now, every time you need to click, but after you get a certain amount of money, you can actually hire managers from here to do that stuff for you. Because you know, after a certain point of time, it'll become a tedious job, and you can't keep on clicking and clicking and clicking because it'd be too slow, and you won't be having any kind of profit. So it's it's a good idea to get some managers to do your job for you, so that you know you're not engaged in clicking stuff. But you know, if you spend too much money on the oil mine for, I mean, not the oil mine, I mean anything, which you can actually manually click. Like it takes about 10 minutes or uh, an entire minute or something. If you're investing on that, uh, if you're investing on a manager for doing that, then you're probably wasting money. But if you see that it actually has some value, then you might as well invest on a manager because it make your life, job a shit ton easier. So that's what it's all about. So before starting this game, I also want to point out one thing to you about this game. That is making money is easy. Yeah, it's easy. Not in real life. Not in real life. Here in this game, it's easy. As you can see, I've got around 704, I mean, 7.421 trillion dollars. Like, I've started playing this game around what? Two, two days? And as you can see in my career, let me just show you my stats. Cash on hand is 7.43. Lifetime earning is 771 trillion dollars. That's a ton of money to be you know if only in real life things were so much easier you get so 771 trillion dollars in just two days that's amazing so what's gonna happen is that as you progress as you start making money more and more money things are gonna unlock uh, unlock which you can upgrade like every time you increase the number of lemonade stands to 100 something's gonna happen probably this thing is, will start producing at double speed then at triple speed when you go to 150 and 300 that keeps on happening those are the unlocks and after that after you've uh, earned a certain amount of money you can actually upgrade your stuff like you can get automatic vacuums like the next upgrade that i can uh, i can actually spend on is an automatic vacuums for my car wash or actually donut holes or shrimp magnets and things like that which will make our business a little more I mean easier or rather more profitable for us those are the upgrades now the managers as I already to told you about like if you are you know if you don't have so much time to like you can invest in man managers who do certain stuff for you and when you have made enough money that you uh, you're quite bored like you want to start over or uh, I mean start all over again you can get these investors here who are actually gonna s you can like bonus per, per angel like everybody is gonna get to per two percent of your entire thing and 131 claim this thing so this means it's actually gonna reset the entire game for you but from the next time onwards things are gonna be a little bit easier probably like you will be making money a little bit faster than what you started doing when you first started the game that's gonna be what's happened i think that's what happens when you actually invest in these i mean 
let the angel investors invest in your business it, it actually restarts your game so when you're actually content with that sometimes some events pop up like uh, let me let me just show you also if you have a, a, a measly sum of a trillion dollars i'm gonna say a measly sum of a trillion dollars guy because i've already made 770 trillion dollars a trillion dollar is nothing so when you have got a trillion dollar you can actually blast off the moon or mars and if you got both if you want both because i've got already got 885 8.856 trillion dollars so you can blast off to moon and mars and set up some kind of business there the ge core gameplay would probably remain the same but you know the theme would change maybe some other kind of let me just read you this the mission control your destiny mission control your de uh, is your gateway to a galaxy of profits you need two trillion dollars to start the launch countdown for the moon and the mars when the countdown begins uh, it's talking about some ads someone's got to claim these useless rocks in the name of capitalism so you can actually start doing something there also another thing that happens is that there are some events there are some small like it lasts for around i don't know the last one i probably lasted for around one day or something i don't know because i started late what happens is that there is a different theme the core gameplay remains the same but you can you have another place where you can actually invest your money and start playing i think i as far as i remember i sold the like after i made a, s a certain amount of money i actually sold it to the uh, angel investors but i never got to find what exactly happened right after that maybe i got some points or something let's just check the career was a swag all about yeah i got this i earned for buying six explosive dudes at uh, arcade level so you get some badges and stuff when you complete those things otherwise yeah that's the core gameplay remains the same now what you want to do right now what you might want to do right uh, here is this buy button as you can see what this does is you can actually change it to 1 10 100 or max one means you can just buy one of these like i can buy just one more bank i can buy one one more theater i can buy one more hockey match or you can bulk buy up to 10 or 100 of them now if you want to see like what's the maximum amount of something you can buy you can just press max and it'll show you how much of every item you can buy with the uh, available cash you've got right there that is for 10 trillion dollars i can buy around 83 of these lemonade stands or just one big oil mine so right now what we have is what we can do right now is we've got 13 minutes until this thing produces 22.696 trillion dollars and two minutes before which this thing is gonna produce around 967.458 billion dollars this bank is gonna, gonna produce that amount of money so what i need to find out i mean figure out rather is the wet which is the best place to actually invest the money right. what are the places that i can invest the money i can actually buy any of these or i could think in a way that i need to unlock this thing so what is the closest number like 153 is closer to the 200 uh, you know when you compare to it i mean what i'm trying to do is that if i try to upgrade my shrimp boat to 200 i'm gonna need 90 of this that's gonna cost a lot of things i don't have that much money then probably what am i gonna do So I want to make 20 trillion dollars as fast as I can. So what can I do about it? I have 10.447 trillion dollars right now. Around 45 seconds later, somebody's going to produce the bank is going to produce now around a around a trillion dollars, like 967.4458 dollars. And the and the mine, the oil mine is going to produce 22.696 trillion dollars in just 11 minutes so let me just see what we can do about this thing so what i'm thinking of doing is buy as many newspaper stands as i can to actually get this thing to as close to um 200 as i can like right now oh no i don't even need to let go to 200 because there's a good news here if i get 275 newspaper stands i could actually get double this thing why would that increase pizza delivery to two 
Wait, oh, because I can actually put advertisements on my newspapers. So whatever it is. So I think I'm going to go to 170 newspapers as fast as I can. So I'm going to buy 10, 20. And that should unlock something. Okay, we need five more. So we're going to change this to one. And we're going to buy one, two, three. Okay, we don't have enough money to buy five of them. So let's just wait for it. Let's just wait for something to complete and we'll have enough money to buy 175 of those. I mean, complete buying 175 of those new stands. Okay, so we can now upgrade our new stands to around 175. So we're going to do that right now. 173, 174, 175. Pizza ads. So we get profits of pizza deliveries time two. So that's pretty much how you play this game, guys. I wanted to make this episode a little bit short. Because, you know, I just wanted to give you the how-to of the game so that you too start playing the game. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out. Next time, maybe I'll do another video, maybe a little bit longer. Or I don't know how long this video is going to be anyway before editing it out. So let me know if you want another gameplay, another video on this game. I'll be happy to do another for you guys. And also, I'll do that event thing that is coming up for you. And also, i make another make something go to the moon or the Mars as you, as you wish, as you command. So, with all that being said, you know, that's how you do. You strike a, a balance between the upgrades and the unlocks. And you figure out what's the best way and the, you know, fastest way to become a, becoming a trillionaire. Or rather, let's say, richer and richer and richer. So, keep playing this game. Till then, keep gaming. You guys rock. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.